Missouri voters will get to decide in November whether or not people in the state can legally bet on sports. And two groups on both sides of the issue are running ads with some conflicting information. They are put on by some of the biggest corporations in gambling. DraftKings and FanDuel paying the Pro Amendment 2 group winning for Missouri education. And casino operator Caesars Entertainment and its many mid Missouri or many Missouri casinos funding the Missourians Against the Deceptive Online Gambling Amendment. I've gotten several calls from people asking to look into this and get to the truth on what Amendment 2 is or isn't going to do. First, let's look at how it works. Amendment 2 allows the Missouri Gaming Commission to regulate sports betting throughout the state. It'll hand out licenses for every casino and pro sports stadium, as well as two licenses for mobile platforms for anyone to bet anywhere. 10% of the money each one of these places makes on betting goes toward education. And there's a constitutional guarantee that revenue from sports betting will go to our schools. Nothing in two guarantees a single penny for education. Two so which one of these guarantees is it? The amendment does mandate that the tax money go toward education, but Brooke Foster, the spokesperson for the group opposing it, says they're worried lawmakers will take money away from education in exchange for the gambling money brought in. So they can take $10 out of education funding, put $10 back in from the general fund. So it's not a net gain, Lucas, if that makes sense. It's just, you know, th there's no way to say that there's going to be this much more for education. The state auditor and Missouri Gaming Commission guessed that Missouri might bring in $6 million for education through taxes in its first year and more than $20 million each year after that. Opponents of Amendment 2 point to the many ways gambling operators can take money from the bottom line before paying the state. The state auditor predicted some of these deductions could make it so that these services have nothing to give the state. I don't think there's a world where there's zero dollars. Jan Zimmerman is the chairwoman of the Missouri Gaming Commission. She says the state has until December of 2025 to get gambling and its oversight up and running. She says Missouri's position as potentially the 39th state to legalize sports gambling lets them learn from others' mistakes. Um, we've actually had some states that our staff has been in contact with as well who've said, oh gosh, don't do what we do. Ours doesn't work. So. Supporters also point to the cap that gambling platforms have when deducting things like free play bets people make. Amendment 2 legalizes sports betting, which will generate over $100 million for our schools. That new money can be used to increase teacher pay. Teachers have largely been the spokespeople for each side, too. While tax money has to go to public education, the amendment has no guarantee that the money will be used to give teachers raises. Instead, it just goes to the state education department for use as it and lawmakers see fit. Winning for Missouri Education spokesman Jack Cardetti says he expects districts to use the money for raises given the state's low ranking on average pay. So obviously their option um, at the local level, what they're going to use the, these new resources for. But we honestly, we really believe that teacher pay will be part of that because right now that's one place when it comes to education, Missouri is really struggling. Teachers were told that the lottery would raise a lot of money for schools, but that didn't happen. Some voters may remember deciding on the Missouri lottery in 1992, which said all net proceeds for the lottery would go to education. The lottery reports for this year, it set aside $530 million for DESE. Even that is just 3% of DESE's entire budget. And compare that to the $100 million over five years the state auditor expects sports gambling to bring in. But Cardetti says this at least captures the thousands of bets Missourians are already placing, either illegally or over state lines. Desi tells me the money it gets will go through the normal state appropriations process. Well, I asked Noelle Gilzo, the head of the Columbia, Missouri National Education Association, if she sees sports gambling moving the needle at all on teacher pay. She says, like the approval of riverboat gambling before it, she does not see it making a big leap. In fact, she fears the same thing, that the new source will justify cuts to education from general revenue.